I don't even know the first time that I noticed it. I mean, it's such like a prominent thing in the community and I feel like I've been around it so long. It's just like part of the experience. This piece was painted by Martin Moreno. This itself was a community project that was done with a lot of local youth. Painted sometime in the 80s, and then it was repainted in 2011. My name's Alfonso Chavez. I go by Fonz 520. I'm a local artist, muralist, community organizer. The imagery of industrialization, but at the same time, it's coming from Quetzalcoa, which represents knowledge, and it's also like a very prominent part of our pre-colonial history. Well, it's just a huge fusion of everything that makes Tucson what it is, especially here in, in Barrio Viejo. So this is another original from Martin Moreno, same artist that painted the one that we saw at the Pilita Center, except this isn't the one that we're here to see today. This is a mural that we're here to see. This was originally painted by David Tineo as well as his collective and some community folks and restored by myself and a few of my good friends. We included around 15 community youth specifically from this area. The whole reason why the El Rio Community Center even exists is through a series of protests that took place in West Tucson. There was no sidewalks in that area. There were no parks. There was no place for community to gather. This is relevant to the petroglyphs and the hieroglyphs. We've always told our stories through writing on walls. David Tineo is one of those iconic figures that I grew up seeing. When he reached out to me, it's a really humbling experience to be recognized by someone that you look up to like that. This is a mural that's painted by Johnny Bubonic. He uses vibrant colors and he uses neon paint and he's an aerosol artist. First of all, I'm like a huge hip hop head. And so I think it's cool that a piece like this exists in Tucson. Andre 3000 actually started a clothing brand based off of these messages and all of the proceeds went to BLM. The murals that we saw have a lot to do with like the native Chicano community here in Tucson. And this is more for like the black community. And so you're getting all these modern twists and different cultural implications that are telling like the story of what's going on right now. A lot of the stories that our murals tell are what, what are considered counter narratives to the dominant, which we often hear. This is our way of telling our own story and telling our own messages and our own lived experiences. 